Hello comrades, I'm recording this video at the request of our English speaking subscriber, so the video will be also in English. I think this will make it uh, easier for the English speaking uh, part of the audience to understand the material. And so, the question was about uh, connecting the sensors uh, to the NVM board uh, with the setting in the Mark 3 program. The NVM board has uh, input ports, uh, <clears throat> a number of them, uh, such as uh, stop and uh, probe, uh, uh, should be used to connect emergency stop buttons and uh, travel limit sensor, uh, travel limit probes. Uh, uh, the rest of the ports can use any probes, any sensors. Uh, like you want. Let's uh, consider the uh, connection of two main types of sensors inductive sensors and uh, trigger sensors. Uh, to connect a trigger sensor you need to do the following. Connect one of the uh, uh, port in a trigger sensor with a uh, 12 volt uh, port in a uh, con, uh, input ports of NVM uh, uh, The other uh, port in the uh, trigger uh, sensor you can uh, <coughs> connect with any of these input ports, for example, input number 3, 4, 5 and other. We will connect it with uh, input number 9. So, uh, if you connect your sensor with the uh, NVM board, then you should uh, configure it setting in Mark 3. Uh, this is my uh, uh, Mark 3 tone interface. Uh, we should uh, click config then uh, we should uh, click port and pins and we will see uh, the window port and pins uh, then we should click input signal and uh, looking for index uh, line yeah it's here in the <coughs> in the index line uh, we should uh, uh, click uh, in the column enable and uh, put uh, <coughs> um, checkbox in this column. Uh, then, then sorry. Then in uh, column port we should write one. That means that uh, our uh, computer will uh, work with uh, NVM board by Ethernet port. Then in uh, column pin number we should write uh, this number which we use uh, input signal uh, if we input uh, yes input port uh, if we use uh, port number nine then uh, here we should write uh, number nine uh, then I should uh, um, click here <coughs> Uh, put a checkbox in uh, the column of the active law. Uh, uh, that's uh, <coughs> uh, that is uh, to walk uh, uh, with my sensor like uh, with a normal open sensor. If you walk uh, that your sensor walk like a uh, normal closed sensor, then uh, click here again and uh, everything will work. So, uh, then you should uh, click Apply and OK. Then click res sorry, sorry, Reset. Uh, <coughs> so, uh, uh, after that you should, uh, after that, uh, if you uh, using the toning version of Mark 3 you need to open the diagnostics menu um, it's here there you can see uh, uh, in indication of the input signals it's here oh wait a minute I will turn on my 
turning machine yeah wait and uh, yes it's okay uh, <clears throat> well, when the sensor is uh, closed this window will light up this window will light up okay oh oh yes it's right <clears throat> and uh, that's all you need to do if you want to connect a trigger sensor now let's see what to do if you want to connect uh, an inductive sensor like this um, like in the video which you show me you don't need to change uh, the setting in Mark 3 you just need to connect uh, uh, the inductive sensor you have in a different way um, it should also be uh, noted then um, the type of inductive sensor should be PNP <coughs> it's important so uh, you need to connect uh, the sensor as follows uh, the sensor power um, the sensor power wire uh, usually it's uh, it has a brown color uh, not always but usually um, uh, connected to the 12 volt port a terminal uh, the blue uh, wire you connect with the uh, G and D1 and uh, the signal wire black you connect with the uh, uh, input number 9 uh, um, as I told <coughs> uh, those without changing uh, the setting in Mark 3 we have the following result as uh, we see when the sensor is closed um, the computer understand it and uh, the induction uh, lights up now uh, let's see how I make it in uh, my turning machine uh, that's I will open my this box here we can see uh, the inductive sensor uh, we can see that it uh, doesn't work but now we will uh, uh, click here yeah uh, you can see that when we uh, uh, put it the uh, this metal thing uh, the sensor is work you can see that uh, it's work uh, also it's work in the input terminal when I um, uh, click there so I think uh, that I managed to answer the question uh, and if you want uh, if you need any clarification write in the comments uh, I will be happy to help you thanks for watching and bye